Hello YouTubers, welcome and good evening. Now there's been a little bit of talk recently with a few growers regarding um, Acorn's rain mix and the burning of roots. Now, it was pretty much stated initially on with a few videos that this definitely does burn roots. Now, um, so what I thought, me being the inquisitive type, I'll do a little test because being a seller of rain mix I've actually got obviously access to different variants of it and different stages of batches um, I'll run through them this one was the one we got the white spoon okay um, now the oldest one is this one Akerns was thinking about rebranding this and that's how you was going to get it and you're going to get one of these spoons uh, and this one is actually, I know it's one of the older ones, because I've actually put my old label on it, Cool Orchids. Got a website called coolorchids.co.uk, and that was one of my first ones when I started selling it. I only used to just sell that on its own, nothing else. And obviously the supply side grew. Uh, I got an opportunity to take over business, and I did do that. So that's where the orchid supplies came from. So this one was the, and what they did, there was an RHS one year, and they gave me a, a sample tub. To show people but that tub never got developed and this was made that's the bio lan okay quite chunky this is the new the new one we get the blue spoon it's a lot fine i'm not going to get it out because i've got water about and then that one was pre the one with the sulfur added that one's got the sulfur added with the blue spoon this one hasn't that one I don't even know whether it got to market or not, but it's made by Byland, so I, I'm I'm imagining that those that it did all the components of that feed are in the rest of them. Okay, that one I remember this one. Bit of moisture in that tub, look, and that's because I dropped it about a year ago, longer maybe. I dropped it, look, and I leave it in the kitchen. So it is going hard underneath, quite hard under there now because it's absorbing from the kitchen when I'm cooking. Okay, but I still, I'm just going to try that. So really you could say, I don't want to be using that, but I'll give it a shake and there it is. I would still use that. Just keep crunching the powder off and grinding it, grinding it off. Um, and that was when we was in liquid supplies. And I dropped it and broke it up. Hence moisture look got in through the crack but i have taped it and i thought i'll use it on me fan lots in the home and what i've done they have all been measured out to the quantity required as per instructions as per recommended not any stronger not any weaker okay so that was one gram in two liters this one i'm sure it said level spoon which is pretty difficult with that spoon because it's quite a flat look into uh, three liters in three liters that's why it's quite a bit in that one okay and then that one was measured out half a gram per liter okay so if I just get my TDS pen three two four say two seventy Three one two, okay. So, not wrong with them. If I'd tested them, no mistakes were made. I've not gone over the top, um, and so I'd be happy with that. I won't even add any more if you're gonna do measure it out. Then pH six two. I'm not gonna give it temperature stabilization. This is an RO. A six. I have got a suspicion that my pen is on the blink, this one. So I'm going to test this, because I bet you this is why it's difficult to trust pH pens. And you better trust the mix, what it does. 5.8 look. 
unless it's temperature stabilizing there because you meant to give it a minute but I don't want to drag on too long so anyway on the acidic side 5.8 5.9 okay I'd go red with that and use it okay all very similar so then what I thought I was going to do I'll turn the pen off have a quick look see what's what I've done is took my powder put it straight into the water to the required amount of water and I'll just give it a stir there's a few particles left in there I'm not quite sure what there's bits of other stuff as well so it's difficult to that might be a little bit of iron black iron that's in there okay now this one that's underneath look underneath the bench there's hardly I can't hardly see anything in that one it's all very well and this one, there's a bit of wood in there. There's hardly anything like So, you know, rain mix does dissolve really well. These have probably been here in about five minutes while I've been messing about. Five, ten minutes, something like that. I've been, I've been messing about, getting things ready. But I just put it in, it goes red and I'll give it a, a stir. Okay. Now, a bit dangerous, isn't it, with water of that. So what I'm going to do now dissolves really well. I think that's I think that's proof that all three, all three batches dissolve pretty well. Look, probably better than most feeds that you get out there. Now I've got three dodgy subjects. Neo Venetia falcata. Just have a look at the roots. This I've not watered this enough. Look, I'll let it go to. Uh, got some decentest roots there. Look, live root tips, no staining. This one same, apart from that root. That dead root there. I don't want you to take it off really. But anyway, that's not in the best state. Dry look. Dry as a bone. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna blast that dry. And then a Neo. I'm ham risking that one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. I've got three subjects. Now this is the difficult bit. How do I you know I don't know, do I dunk them? So you could say that one's been dunked in the solution. Okay, leave that one there. What's that one done? Just trying to simulate what you might more you may do. This one is in a well that's in a, in a difficult with that one, isn't it? So I might just grab that one and just you get a lot on the roots there, there is a Okay, and then this one, I think this one, I think I'll just dunk this one again, under the water, okay, roots have been, it looks going to float out, fully submerged. Now what I'm going to do, there's the three plants been wetted. I will come back to those. I'm just wondering if there's anything else in here that I could uh, just put. Oh, I know what there is. This one, then, the oldest, the one that went off the most. That one. It's been a bit of a mess now. Some nice live roots there off a dendrobium. I'm just going to. Sitting in the water there, look. It's a hydroponic tray, this is. Okay, I'll leave that. That's that all gone now. And the rest, I don't really know. I can't really see anything else at the minute. Uh, I could just throw it all on, I suppose, but then it wouldn't be the same. And I could just put a bit more on if you want. So they've all had a good soak in. Uh, and what I'll do, more than to have a good soaking, really, they've had a dunk, haven't they? Okay, you can see that rain mix there on there now, 
that's starting to just sink in now into it. Look, see the going green, green. That's being absorbed. Um, about this one. A bit of water in the crown. Still wet. Look. So hopefully that that's not absorbing as much. That one's just starting. Look on that leaf, on that root. So you'd ex what would you expect that that to be brown and the others not? I don't know. So anyway, there you go. Little experiment. We'll see what happens. Just I'm just being inquisitive. It's not. This isn't to prove people right or wrong. Um, it's just I'm that kind of person. I'm just inquisitive. So, and if people would have asked me from the start. I'd have probably done this straight away because I've got access to this sort of stuff and I'd have got my head together with probably a kern, but you know, we weren't given that opportunity. But hey, I'm playing with it now. Uh, I don't know why because I trust, I quite trust the remix and I'm pretty confident that they won't burn. Uh, and they have gone a bit too dry, as you can see by that, the middle end ones, in fact, all of them. So you could say they're all very stressed plants. You probably not have any stressed plants like that in your greenhouse or your grow area, I want to imagine. But I have, so I've let them ones go and I tend to put them to one side. But anyway, there you go. The rain may, rain, rain mix test through, through the years, you could say. And uh, I'll revisit this tomorrow and do another one and see how the plants are. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. Comment if you want to comment, but only be nice, please. Thank you. Goodbye.